Hello everyone. In this class, we will learn synchronized UGT triggering. Figure below shows the circuit diagram for synchronized UGT triggering. Diodes D1 to D4 rectify AC to DC. Resistor R1 drops VDC to a suitable value for Zener diode Z and the UJT. Zener diode Z functions to clip the rectified voltage VDC to a standard level VZ, which remains constant except near the VDC zero. This voltage Vz is applied to the charging RC circuit. Current I1 charges the capacitor C at a rate determined by the resistance R. Voltage across capacitor is shown by Vc. When voltage across capacitor that is VC reaches eta VBB, the emitter base 1 junction breaks down, sending a current I2 through the primary of the pulse transformer. As the current I2 is in the form of pulse, windings of the pulse transformer have pulse voltages at their secondary terminals. Pulses at the two secondary windings feed the same in phase pulse to two SCRs of a full wave circuit. SCR with positive anode voltage would turn on. The capacitor charges up to eta VBB or eta VZ. As soon as it exceeds eta VBB, the capacitor discharges through the emitter base 1 junction. When the capacitor voltage reaches the value point of the UJT, the capacitor begins to charge again. The rate of rise of capacitor voltage can be controlled by controlling the value of R. Firing angle can be controlled up to about 150 degree. This method of controlling the output power by varying charging resistor R is called ramp control, open loop control or manual control. As the Zener diode voltage Vz goes to zero at the end of each half cycle, the synchronization of the trigger circuit with the supply voltage across the SCRs is achieved. As shown over here, as the capacitor tries to charge again, the capacitor voltage synchronizes with the supply voltage. Thus, the time t equal to alpha upon omega when the pulse is applied to the SCR for the first time will remain constant for the same value of R. Small variations in the supply voltage and frequency are not going to affect the circuit operation. In case R is reduced so that in case R is reduced so that VC reaches UJT threshold voltage twice in each half cycle as shown in figure there will be two pulses in each half cycle. As the first pulse will be able to turn on the SCR, the second pulse in each cycle is redundant.